What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here, welcome back to another PS4 tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to run PS2 games on your PS4 with codebreaker cheats for your 5.05 exploited console. It will work on 4.55 and 4.05 jailbroken consoles as well, it's just the most up-to-date one is 5.05 so we're going to be showing you how to do that on that firmware. So yeah, if you don't know what codebreaker cheats are, I might show a little preview here. It's it's basically like a, a huge list of um, cheats for for PS2 games, and then you select the uh, you select the game that you that you're running, and then you select what cheats that you want to enable for that game, and then when you run the game, it will have all of those cheats enabled. So it's pretty cool, and uh, yeah, it's it's a pretty nice thing to have. Uh, for your PS2 games that you're running on your PS4. So first things first, uh, if you, you're you going to want to go ahead and download a PlayStation 2 game. So head to PS2 ISO MU Paradise. If you just type in PS2 ROMs into the search bar on Google, it will be the top uh, link. And then you just uh, select the game you want. So if I'm for an example, I'm going to do Devil May Cry 3. So I would just search for D, scroll down until I find Devil May Cry 3. So the game that you want is the USA version. Even if you live in Europe and you have a European console, PS4 console, it doesn't matter because, you know, the European US uh, thing for PS2 has pretty much no relation to, to PS4. Uh, so yeah, it doesn't matter if you download the US version. So make sure that you do download the US version though because uh, codebreaker cheats only work on the US version. Um, if you download the European version, there is XP loader cheats, but they're very limited. They, they don't support as many games, um, and they don't have as many cheat codes, so it's definitely better to go for the US version, the NTSC version. So once you've downloaded it, I've got it downloaded here in this folder. So you're also going to want this all-in-one PS2 fake package cheats.rar again it will be linked in the description so all I'm going to do is basically extract this folder to the desktop and go into this folder so what you're going to want to do is extract the contents of the ISO for your PS2 game into this folder and uh, now personally I recommend just using WinRAR because you can open the ISO in WinRAR um, now if you don't have it directly supported then just open WinRAR and drag your ISO into into WinRAR um, or right click and open with and select choose a different program and choose WinRAR and you'll be able to open it that way you don't have to install any kind of ridiculous ISO software ISO extracting software so all you have to do is just highlight the contents of everything inside your uh, ISO file for your PS2 game and copy it into this PS2 load elf folder and just go ahead and extract everything in there okay so that's copied all the files into that folder so what you want to do is rename this file here this lncf underscore 999.99 and copy the name of it because you need to edit this system.cnf file this is an important step so right click and open that in notepad and then this top line here, boot2 equals CD-ROM0, and then there is a ID in here. Now, if you leave this in here, then when you start the game, it's going to literally start the game. So this is not, which is not what you want, or you want it to execute this instead. So 99.99. .99. So make sure you change it to this, because this will launch kind of like a, a file browser which will allow you to launch codebreaker cheats first before you launch the game and then you can enable what cheats you want and then start the game from within this kind of file browser instead. So go ahead and paste that in here, make sure the line is exactly as mine is. Um, I'll put it in the description so you can just copy and paste the whole line if you want. Uh, then go ahead and save it. You can open it in just regular notepad, it doesn't have to be notepad++. So once you've done that you can back out of this folder and open CD DVD Gen. So you want to open up this CD DVD Gen and create a new project. Now you'll get two options, CD-ROM or DVD-ROM. That depends on the size of the ISO. So if the ISO is larger than 750 megabytes, uh, which mine is, this is 4.3 gigabytes. So you want it to be a DVD if it's higher than 750 megs. If it's below 750 megs, then choose a CD. So we'll select DVD 
And then what you want to do is go ahead and copy all of the contents inside this PS2 load elf folder and drag it into the root in here. And I'll add all the files in. Then you want to go to volume and you have to add the disk name which is right here, this SLUS 213.61. That's the game ID. It will be different obviously if you're doing a different game. So for me it's SLUS and then so 21361. I forget the, the point, uh, so it's just SLUS21361. Uh, you can f don't have to enter the copyright holder. The producer name needs to be uh, PlayStation. I'm not sure if that's required, but put it in anyway. And then the license area is America because it's the NTSC version of the game that I've downloaded. Obviously, if you downloaded the PAL version, it would be Europe. Uh, so we select America and we finally go to File export IML file um, and then just give it a name so DMC3 seeing as how that's the game and that will create these two files here on your desktop so you can close out of this now and go ahead and run the next uh, the next program which is C DVD IML to ISO so we'll open this up and open up the IML file that we just saved on the desktop. So there we go, dmc3.iml, so we're going to open that and then click the IML to ISO and that's going to convert it into an ISO file. So now we've basically taken our game ISO and we've converted it into an ISO file um, with the code breaker cheats and everything inside with this kind of file browser as well that's going to allow us to to run the code breaker cheats and then run the game. Okay, so there we go. Oh, that reminds me of Image Burn. So, uh, yeah, there we go. So once it's completed, you'll now have this ISO file on the desktop as well. So the final step is to create a package file out of your ISO. So to do that, we also have a program to do that in here, PS2 Classic GUI V1. If you go in here, go into Application Files, and then run the PS4 PS2 Classic GUI. And from there you can open up the ISO file and then we need to again enter the ID of the game. Uh, so again it's inside your PS2 load elf folder right here. So we'll put it in so it's SLUS and then 21361. And then title so that's Devil May Cry 3. Uh, you can put any title you want really. And finally, these represent the home screen and background image. Now you, you can leave them as they are. Um, it won't make any difference. But if you want to you know, make it look more authentic, then you can add some custom icons and images in. Um, I'm not sure if this program resizes the images for you. If it does, then you can just take in any JPEG image. Um, but if it doesn't resize the images for you, then make sure that the the JPEG for the background is 1920 by 1080 and the home screen image is 512 by 512 pixels. So I'm going to right click and change icon and select my home screen icon on my desktop and then right click and change background and do the same thing. My background image and there we go. So now all I have to do is click the create PS2 classic button and then it just asks you where you want to save the file. So I just selected my desktop and it's going to start creating the package file. And there we go, that's it being created right here. And this probably won't take that long, even though it's a 4 gigabyte uh, PS2 game. Um, it probably only takes a, about a minute or so, a couple minutes, and it should be finished. Okay, so there we go, the process is completed. You can click OK and close out of this now, and we have our package file created. So all you have to do now is put the package file on the USB. Still have my God of War on here from the last video. So I'm just going to drag this into my USB stick and it's going to start copying it over. Now make sure again that you're always putting the package files in the root of the USB stick, not in any folders. And make sure that the USB stick is formatted, preferably in XFAT format. You can also have it in FAT32, but if your game is larger than 4GB then it won't allow you to transfer it across. Uh, so it's better to have it in XFAT format. Okay, so the game is now transferred over to the USB, so all we have to do is unplug it and plug it into the PS4. Okay, so over to the PS4 here, so what we're going to do is head on to the internet browser and of course 5.05 and run either Mira or Hen, either one should work. 
Um, if you're on 4.55, then you know run hen from 4.55. If you're still on 4.05, then you can run hen from 4.05 as well. Also, if you don't have access to the internet browser, then you can, of course, if you've followed my jail jailbreak tutorial for 5.05, then you can access the WebKit exploit from the user guide. So I'm just going to run Mira, which should work fine. Um, but if not, then run Hen instead. Uh, either one should work. So, yep, I get out of memory errors, but just keep trying and it will eventually work. There we go, you're all set. So once it says you're all set, press the middle button on your PS4 to exit, not circle. And then go to settings and you should now have the debug settings options showing up. So go in there, go into game, package installer, and the packages on your USB stick should show up. And just select the PS2 game that you're wanting to install, and it should start installing the package file. So for a four gigabyte file, this will probably take maybe four, four or five minutes maximum. Okay, so there we go, the um, package has been installed. So now we have our Devil May Cry 3 game showing up here on the home page with our icon that we selected and when we start the game it has the background image for the loading screen so again if you didn't bother adding those then it will just show up with a, a standard unity background and home screen but when you run the game you should get this kind of file browser showing up um, if you've done everything correctly as I've showed so what you can do is use the d-pad to scroll up and down circle to select um, so we'll do file browser with circle and then scroll down to CDFS and press circle and then what you want to do is go into the elf folder again with circle and then launch the code breaker cheats uh, so codebreaker.elf for uh, NTSC uh, if you have the American version of the game installed as we've done if you have the European version installed then you would launch the XP loader cheats but again they don't have as many so Definitely better to have the American version, so circle to launch Codebreaker. And it will start launching that, so there we go. Setting up cheats, please wait, there we go. So now what you want to do is go to select cheats, and then this has the list of all the supported cheats for all the different games uh, that, that it supports, basically. And as you can see, there's absolutely loads. So Devil May Cry 3 Dante's Awakening is the one that I want, the special edition. That's the one I have installed. You press right on the D-pad to select cheats. So that will go in here. So for Devil May Cry 3, there's 189 cheats available, which is insane. So let's just enable some of these. Okay, so we'll put on infinite health. We just use X to select for these. So infinite health, uh, infinite devil trigger usage, max infinite devil trigger. Uh, Dante can use devil trigger from the start of the game. Let's do that. Invincible plus one hit death enemies. Gain 5,000 style XP each time. We'll go for that. We'll do one. Uh, red orbs are worth a thousand. And yeah, okay, that that'll do for now. Just as an example, we'll definitely notice something in the game with all of these enabled. So once you've done that, you can go ahead and um, press, I believe, left on the D-pad, and that'll exit. There we go. And that should now be highlighted because we have cheats enabled for that. And then we can just go ahead and press um, the select button and that'll back out. Now you can't uh, start the game. If you try and start the game, it will not actually launch the game. It will just launch back into the same menu that we were on before, but that's all you have to do. So if we go ahead and start game and then press X to continue, then it will load us back in here again. And then all we have to do is go back into the file browser, back into CDFS, but this time, instead of launching the Codebreaker cheats, we, we will just go down to the the game ID, slus underscore 213.61, and press circle, and that will actually launch the game itself. So we should get, there we go, reading memory card, and the game is starting. So I'll skip through all of this until we actually get into the game here, and we can see if the cheats are enabled. Okay, so there we go. So we're going to do, let's see if I still have a game save on here from when I was first testing this. Yes, I do. Perfect. There we go. So we can skip some of the cutscenes and stuff and get straight into a save here. So we're loading in now. 
And you'll get an idea of the cheats that are enabled for this. So start mission. Okay, we'll skip this. We actually get into a game. So we enabled infinite health, first of all. So let's see. Yep. They're attacking me, nothing's happening. Not taking any damage whatsoever. And then we also uh, enabled infinite devil trigger and that we can use devil trigger from the start. So there we go, that's devil trigger working right there. And I can literally just kill each enemy in one shot. So one shot of the pistol and they're dead. And each orb I'm collecting is worth 1,000 instead of like 1 or whatever it's normally worth. So I'm getting ridiculous amounts of orbs. So clearly, cheats are enabled. And I think there's a, there's a boss that appears at some point as well. Just show you that. There we go. So here's a boss who's got a full health bar and it's one hit, it's literally one hit kill so all I have to do is fire one shot of the pistol as soon as it appears. There we go, one shot of the pistol and mission complete. There we go, mission cleared. That should be like a, an A+, plus, right? No, oh, apparently not. Oh yeah, no it is. Okay, so yeah, that's basically it. As you can see, cheats clearly working there. So that's basically how you run PS2 games on the PS4 with Codebreaker cheats, which is pretty awesome. There's a huge list of games supported with the cheats. And of course, you can choose not to play it with, with cheats. If you want to just play it without cheats, then you can just take the cheats off and play it normally and then if you get stuck on a certain level or something then you can just enable a cheat to get past that level and continue so really really useful so hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did go ahead and leave a like and subscribe and i will hopefully see you guys in the next one